Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will discuss congenital adrenal hyperplasia, particularly the consequence of different enzymes deficiency in a very easy way. Here you can see what happens when there is a particular enzyme deficiency. This chart is so complicated to remember. However, you do not need to remember that much. All you need is to follow a tip. This topic is a high yield and you must see questions in USMLA Step 1, Step 2 CK or in the MCCQ1 exam. So please stay with me until the end of this video. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and turn on the notification bell icon for more videos like this. This really does help YouTube algorithm. Now let's jump into the video. First let's talk about what is congenital adrenal hyperplasia. It is an autosomal recessive disorder characterized by partial or total defect of various synthetic enzymes. These enzymes are required for cortisol and aldosterone production in the adrenal cortex. We will talk about three enzyme deficiencies and their lab and clinical findings using a simple mnemonic. These enzymes are 21 hydroxylase, 17 alpha hydroxylase, 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. The first point is that cortisol levels will always be low as there is deficiency of enzymes producing cortisol. As a result, the anterior pituitary will secrete more ACTH to stimulate the adrenal gland, leading to hyperplasia. So ACTH levels will always be high here. This high level of ACTH will cause skin hyperpigmentation like in primary adrenal insufficiency. Let's start with the first one, 21 hydroxylase enzyme deficiency. What you need to do is to write letter M for mineral corticoid and letter T for testosterone or sex hormone. M before the letter T and then write number 2 below M and number 1 below T. This is 2 and 1 because we are dealing with 21 hydroxylase. Please be careful, do not flip it. Now we need to decorate this a bit. Do not worry about number 2 but draw number 1 like this. So number 1 turned into an up sign. The other one number 2, no change which means decrease for the purpose of this video. No change means a decrease. Now let's apply this to the finding of 21 hydroxylase enzyme deficiency in this chart. Mineral corticoid decrease, as I said, no change of number 2 means decrease. Cortisol is always less and testosterone increases as the sign indicates. Blood pressure will be low with less mineral corticoid activity no sodium retention, so less blood pressure. No potassium excretion, so potassium level will go up. You see how easy it is. Now the lab finding. As there is no aldosterone activity, renin activity will obviously increase to compensate. As 21 hydroxylase converts 17 dehydroxyprogesterone to 11 deoxycortisol, lack of that enzyme will increase 17 dehydroxyprogesterone. This is not super important to remember in case you encounter during your exam. Now the clinical presentation. As sex hormones go up, there will be precocious puberty in males and females. For your convenience, precocious puberty is the development of secondary sexual characteristics below 9 years in males and 8 years in females. There will be also virilization in females. Do we know what it means by hirsutism and virilization? Hirsutism is the male pattern growth of body hair in females and virilization is hirsutism plus the development of secondary male sexual characteristics in females such as frontal balding, clitoromegaly or deep voice. Now the second one, 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency. Again apply the same. This time put number 1 below M and number 7 below T. Convert number 1 into an up sign as before. Now let's see the findings. Mineral corticoid goes up as the sign indicates, which will also lead to high blood pressure and decreased potassium. Cortisol is always down. No change in the letter 7, which means testosterone goes down as indicated by a decrease in androstenedione. Now the clinical presentation. As there will be lack of sex hormones, the male presents with ambiguous genitalia and the lack of secondary sexual characteristics in the female. So if you apply this simple tip, you will never miss a single question. Now the last one, 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. Here put number 1 
below both the letter M and T and then apply the same. Turn number 1 into an up sign. Here one thing is a bit tricky. 11 beta hydroxylase converts 11 deoxycorticosterone to corticosterone ultimately to aldosterone. So lack of that enzyme will lead to a decrease in aldosterone production. However, it will lead to an increase of 11 deoxycorticosterone as you can see in this chart. This 11 deoxycorticosterone has mineralocorticoid activity too. So ultimately it will increase blood pressure and decrease potassium. As the sign indicates, sex hormone will go up and causes virilization in females. Renin activity will go down because of increased mineral corticoid activity. So in summary, this chart is really complicated and hard to remember, particularly when you will be under a lot of stress during either USMLE or MCC exams. So if you apply this simple tip, it will make your life much more easier. That's all for today. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like this video for more high yield topics like this. Thank you so much for watching.